Wait, did I just hear that Casper in your vest does not own the Biliato alcoholic beverage? Shit, man. Let's talk about it. Peace to the leaders, achievers, hip hop believers, and future seers. Welcome to it. It is another edition of What's the Word, where we keep you up to date in a way that you can relate. Brought to you by Hip Hop on the Grind. My name is the Override, the man who controls the hype. And um, before we get started, man, please do the most by hitting the like, share, and subscribe. And on YouTube as well, hit the notification bell. And if you are on Facebook, Kapako, Instagram, please do the most by hitting the like, um, as well as putting this up on your stories, man, to let people people know that you are consuming that dope content so now i'm on twitter now and i see a post by the name of uh, musa koala basically introducing us to the real owners of the beverage the, the alcoholic beverage biliato spirit brand which is not casper in your vest so now in the post the homie alleged that the alcohol beverage is owned by a man called david demart who according to the homie musa now uh, mr demart is also the ceo of cruise as well as other alcoholic brands that these celebrity niggas are um, claiming to own so now obviously um casper would be you know he would not take that kind of shit lying down and was very quick in the response saying that he is the founder the owner the ceo and the marketing director of the brand and after seeing that tweet bro like a part of me actually scratched my head and like um, Lin Sang, you know, in terms of like, how do you wear so many hats and still like live a 24 hour day? So now uh, my team and I did some digging uh, because obviously if you own like a business and whatnot, there is a paper trail and there's paperwork and you can track these things on um, my CIPC and um, this community and all that stuff. So we did the most, man. Uh, my homie Ketsi did the most and we found that it was actually true now. So we went onto this portal, um, did some digging, like I said, and um, yeah, man, like you would see in the paperwork um that yeah like um it is true that like casper your vest does not own the brand it's actually owned by mr david darmat so now that fucking hurts my feelings because of my um because it basically proves my conspiracy theories about how like black excellence either needs um white capital or yeah it equals white capital and all that stuff and it also took me back to what i was exposed last week and um and and what i was i don't even know if this shit is true or not now but then it was alleged that like um ricky rick also did not own cotton fest and the brand as a whole so now um yeah man like i just want to know man um on like your perspective bro like what is your take on this shit bro and um who is lying between the two who is lying is it casper on your vest who alleges that he is the founder the owner the ceo and the marketing director or is it the homie um musa koala man um who and this guy like his job is to like basically expose shit you know what i'm saying um and also man um um and also another thing guys um, I also saw on the news Jorge um, aka is ditching Cruz and um, he's working on his own spurred brand so now I just want to know man do you think that Mr. David Dermat is um, working with aka on his own um, spurred brand and also as soon as aka launches that spurred brand man um, will it be his you know what I'm saying please let us know in the comment section below and for more on what we really do it's a hip hop on the grind the radio show is every single Wednesday between between the hours of um, 8 to 10 p.m. So we play 100% of local upcoming hip hop music. We bridge the gap between the streets and the industry. And we're the only show currently, currently, um, where um, hard bars are a priority, man. The show is hosted by myself. It's hosted by Ironic. And it's also hosted by um, Biggs, man. And it's shot by the homie 108, representing Contraband. And um, also shout out to the beat selection on this actual, um, uh, you know, video, man. Shout out to the Wave Kid. He is my producer, too. And um, yeah, man, catch y'all on the flip, man. Word up.